civilization so idea of civilization and then its naming the name was the initially industrial civilization but in 2000 ad there was change of government and uh, uh, bjp came to power uh, then as per the new evidences and facts some changes in ncert was made and uh, the things came into saraswati valley civilization so the debate came in the country obviously anything got politicized so that was a political debate that whether it is a true factual thing or saffronization all debates are very common so it had finally settled out so this is the thing that what should be the name the name should be based on first site excavated since harappa was the first site came into existence therefore <coughs> it should be called harappan civilization and second fact is any particular technical advancement which is very unique to this country unique to that civilization like bronze the bronze age civilization otherwise any aspect of material culture like black and red ware they make beautiful pottery after baking it become black and the red strip was put a single strip of red it's called brw pot so this is a brw culture these are the words normally used so, <coughs> continue from to yesterday that the archaeological survey of india archaeological survey of india gave three criteria for naming of any civilization three criteria for naming of any civilization first point is the name of civilization should be based on the name of civilization should be based on first site excavated first site excavated since harappa first site came into existence since harappa the first site came into existence therefore it should be called harappan civilization it should be called harappan civilization second any particular aspect of material culture any particular aspect of material culture which was identity of this civilization like black and red pottery like black and red pottery called brw culture called brw culture black and red ware brw means black and red ware ware means pottery 
third any technical advancement which is unique to this civilization like bronze harappans had advanced metallurgy harappans had advanced metallurgy of mixing copper and tin advanced metallurgy of mixing copper and tin so it should be called it should be called bronze age civilization bronze age civilization so the problem of naming is i told you yesterday that most of the standard books they maintain the bronze age civilization or harappan civilization is the real expression of the civilization but in general we refer indus valley civilization because first name long very last so here indus valley civilization now come to the extent of civilization extent of civilization means how long this ex civilization was spread it extent of civilization look uh, after excavation is started in 1920s then harappa mohenjodaro these are some special sites developed and there was certain structural thing in that the city planning and some material objects was also found so whenever we found any city which is similar in the time frame same time frame and similar in structural and the material culture we call this city as a part of the civilization so therefore we started excavation in many parts of northwestern india and we have found many urban cities which is of the contemporary age and then it had very much similarity also so we started calling this is a part of the indus valley civilization so the length and breadth of the civilization keep on expanding so from 1920 to 2000 in these years almost 2000 cities came into existence so there were very big spread of the civilization and 2000 cities was extended around the entire northwest pakistan to jammu kashmir to western up to maharashtra and in between there are 2000 sites so some sites are very big very important important in the sense of material findings okay so this is how we define the extent of the civilization some civilization is still under excavation some sites there is a site in haryana rakhi garhi rakhi garhi is perhaps the most important site of the harappan civilization but still it is under excavation going on it will take time decades and uh, after the finding of rakhi garhi some things had already concluded like there was a fossil found from rakhi garhi so many news came in the hindu and in this fossil the study of fossil said that the myth of dividing india on the basis of race that is aryans and dravidians this is all together a myth which is nothing but a british designed to 
divide the Indian social system as they were doing. So therefore, the fossil evidence of Raki Gadhi had busted the myth of Aryans and Dravidians and all peoples living in India of having the same race. So there is no racial division at least. Yes, India is a polyglot society, multiracial, multicultural, multilingual, multicolor and so many multis in this multi. Uh, that is actually called polyglot society, but as far as races are concerned, the, we have the same race throughout the length and breadth. Yes, physical expression varies as per the heredity, as per the environment, but there is a racial similarity. So the Aryan invasion was definitely not there, Aryans and Dravidians, they are in some ways, they basically represent the linguistic group and not the racial group at least. So this is a very important fossil to determine the course of understanding India. Fine. So extent of the civilization, uh, till date, I told you that till 2000 AD, 2000 urban sites had came into ex existence. So earlier, before independence, Indus Valley was the core region. But now, after so much of the excavation made, there is a Gujarat where we have the maximum site, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan. So these are the core areas which came into existence. And here also, there was a huge river flowing known as Saraswati River, which had got extinct right now. But Saraswati was a very important river at the, that time. Fine. So these are the new areas came into existence. So let us find the northern limit, southern limit, eastern limit and the western limit. And thereafter, we will mark the areas which is called area of Indus Valley civilization. Since the excavation started in 1920s, since the excavation started in 1920s, till 2080, we have found 2000 urban sites. 2000 urban sites. Most of the sites are located around Indus and Saraswati rivers, around Indus and Saraswati rivers. The northernmost site was Manda. Manda in JK situated on the bank of river Chenab. Southernmost site, it is Daimabad. It is in Maharashtra, located on the bank of river Parvara. Parvara is tributary of Godavari. Easternmost site, Alamgirpur in UP.
located on the bank of river Hinden. Located on the bank of river Hinden. Then westernmost site was Sutkangator. This is in Baluchistan. If you don't want to write Pakistan, then it's okay. Situated on the bank of river Dask. Arabian coast. Arabian coast. So, entirely this is length and breadth and in between I told you that there are 2000 sites are there, the urban sites are there. Some important sites are some important sites of Harappan civilization are Mohanjodaro, Harappa. Lothal, Kali Bangan, Dhola Bira, or Rakhi Garhi, etc. There are two thousand sites. So some are very important. We will study some findings from here, what the things we got it. So, Mohanjodro, Harappa, Dothal, Kalimangan, Dhalabira, Rakhigari. Look, it was a glamorous civilization. I told you yesterday that Mesopotamia, Egypt, Indus, Chinese, Greek, but Indus Valley civilization was a glamorous civilization. Last year, last to last year, perhaps there was question in the mains examination, GS mains, that the crux of the question was the all the civilizations of the world had transformed into a different culture, but without any break. The Indus Valley civilization, the Harappan civilization continued. So, the aspects of civilization did not change even today, particularly the religious belief, which is a very important part of the culture. In modern Hinduism, whatever the cult and practices you see, it had somehow related to the Harappan civilization. The type of town planning we do today, the Harappans had made it successful experiment 5000 years back and of course the huge of technology, the concept of egalitarian society, these are the things. They are trading connections like the way that we have a Lukist policy, like the way that we have the brisk trade with the Europe and Central Asia. Harappans like the foundation of these things. So many aspects of the culture even continue today. We will discuss in detail what are the religious facts of the Harappans and you will try to find that how similar we exercise today. So that is the reason why question was beautifully said. 
now upsc since last couple of years they are asking question in the mains also from ancient and medieval earlier there was no trend of asking they ask questions only in the modern india in the main segment but now it had changed completely so some day if i will get chance i will give you the trend i have made it a graph that which year ancient dominated in the mains and which year modern dominated i will show that so you could not ignore the fact of writing answer in the ancient india as well apply your brain be analytical and that is only possible when you have lots of facts with you that you you have understood the relevance of the fact then you can use as per the need of the question so that is the way that you can write so every fact should be there at proper place so that you can understand the relevance of the fact so that it will be there in your mind and use that facts in the writing answer so look before we start in the characteristics i want to go for the origin origin must be discussed what is the origin of indus valley civilization it's a different different historians had said history is what historians said so there are different different version of analysis to so when indian history was dominated by the british and it was british which was who was we are telling everything about us in the past 5000 years so british said that actually in order to prove the western superiority west means everything west so western superiority the idea of civilization borrowed from mesopotamian civilization they wanted to prove that mesopotamian civilization was actually better and glamorous civilization than the harappans and harappans learned everything from the mesopotamians model structure everything since her mesopotamian civilization was older compared to the indus fine this theory was projected by the westerns but we found that the material culture of harappans are better than the mesopotamians so therefore the better cultural a manifestation of any civilization could not be in compare with the inferior and could not be borrowed from the inferior civilization so let us find what are the fundamental contradiction between suppose you follow from somewhere then you copy from somewhere to so your should be copy paste but there is there are fundamental contradiction between the mesopotamians and the harappans so that theory was absolutely rejected right so first theory is that is called colonial theory in short i will try to explain it so that uh, you can write in the main examination in limited words colonial theory this theory said the idea of civilization civilization was borrowed from mesopotamian civilization colonial theory means british so it was borrowed from mesopotamian civilization the idea of civilization was borrowed from mesopotamian civilization this is colonial theory so colonial theory means british but there are fundamental contradiction between harappan civilization and mesopotamian civilization there are fundamental contradiction between harappan civilization and mesopotamian civilization i told you that uh, harappan civilization was looking more advanced 
compared to Mesopotamians. So Mesopotamians and Harappans. Mesopotamian civilization was not a planned civilization. Not a planned civilization. It had zigzag settlement. It had zigzag settlement. Wherever they found the place, they construct the house. No planning like Delhi. Harpans. Uniform town planning. Uniform town planning. Uniform town planning means iron greed pattern. Greed pattern. Uh, you understand the greed like this. This is greed. Whenever you see any city from top, it looks like a rectangle, square, so iron greed pattern, the greed pattern of Tantra. They had a very advanced town planning. Second, no drainage system. No drainage system, no drainage system and here drainage system was unique achievement of civilization. Not found anywhere in the world. So, Harappans had a very good sanitation system. The drainage system was unique achievement of this civilization. They were using maximum copper iron stones. To make the tools. They were using maximum copper and stones to make the tools. But Harpans, they developed bronze. They had a very good technical skill of development of bronze. All these facts are challenging the colonial proposition of that entire Harappan civilization is copy paste of Mesopotamia. Fine. Mesopotamians, they were using temples. Temples was the main religious life. Religious life of the Mesopotamians, temples. Idols. Idols. They were idol worshippers. But Harappans, there are no temples found. Right? There was no temples in Harappan civilization found. That means they had religion, but religion was absolutely private. It was not demonstrated in public, not demonstrated in public, like the way that you do Kamaryatra and other type of celebration in the religious cult, they don't have. It was 
private no dj in any type of hyat so no temples harpans hyat but they gradually gave the temple because there is a transitional civilizational transformation and here we accepted some of the facts from there they had defense mechanism defense mechanism means the huge spears the huge shield shield dhal istemal karta tha log dhal use spears and shield is percent silt but her pans peace loving people maximum they had a knife to cut the vegetable but they were warring tribe keep on fighting for the resources so their culture was quite different there was theocracy theocracy what do you mean by theocracy when the religion guide the political system so political system guided by the religion islamic state is a theocratic state where nothing could be separated from religion so they had theocracy means priest were the ruler they were ruled by the priest there was concept of priest prince rule uh, priest ruling system theocracy and here ruling system is unknown to us a non to us means either merchant or priest harpan civilization we don't know the ruling system ruling system is a non to us and either priest or merchants so there are many fundamental things which is different not only in the social and cultural thing but material thing also so that is how we have nothing in common to mesopotamian civilization so this western scholars those who said that the basic idea of civilization was borrowed from mesopotamia is absolutely not correct second theory is second theory is indigenous evolution so indigenous evolution second theory is indigenous evolution try to understand yesterday we have seen the many neolithic sites gradually started developing there was development of surplus even so these neolithic sites suppose suppose there are so many neolithic sites when they started developing so these neolithic sites when the resources became uh, still when resources became very stagnant then they started looking for the place where they can generate more resources so each neolithic sites came across with the flood plain of indus and indus plain is very fertile plain so therefore there was lots of migration suppose in delhi tamilians are coming with different technological advancement the biharis are coming bengalis are coming marathis are coming and many technological things fused at one place so that is called conglomeration of the technological thing which exploit more resources and therefore there is urbanization 
So many Neolithic communities in the northwestern India developed with different different technological skill. And when these skills fused together, when all the Bengalis are searching for the place where they can generate the resources, Biharis, Marathi, Telugu, Tamil. So with they found yes, Delhi is a very good fertile plan. So they will come to Delhi. Ek jayega, das leke aayega. And therefore, after the, this is place where there is a technological fusion. And when there is a variety of the cultures, variety of the strata, economic transaction is very fast. So therefore, this is the place at many places in and around Indus river, they started fusing their technological informations and that led to the rise of civilization. So this is called indigenous evolution and it evolved from the local Neolithic culture. So this is a very important discussion about the rise of civilization that Indus Valley civilization evolved from the development of local Neolithic culture, development of local Neolithic culture. So these two things you have to keep in mind regarding the origin of civilization. local Neolithic cultures. Continue with this, this uh, point. In northwestern India, northwestern India, many Neolithic sites Neolithic sites was agrarian based was agricultural based. These sites had different technological skill. These sites fused at flood plain of Indus with their technologies, flood plain of Indus with their technologies resulted in surplus. and urbanization resulted in surplus and urbanization resulted in surplus and urbanization. So this is the indigenous evolution of the many Neolithic cultures. This is a development of Neolithic culture. Anyway, so we have seen that origin is okay. What is fundamental contradiction between Mesopotamians and the Indus. Now come to the characteristics of civilization. These are the things which is important for the mains as well as prelims. So characteristics of civilization, first thing let us talk about the town planning, town planning of Indus Valley civilization. Town planning of Indus Valley civilization. So they construct the town. Look, wherever they found this type of landscape, this type of landscape, they immediately consider it is the best place to construct the town. So one person is raised and other person is on the label. So this raised portion was made as a place for the ruling people and this is portion where the common people live. So they construct the houses, this is the raised portion 
was called citadel. This is called citadel and this place was important because it was residential place of elite class, a residence of elite class people. There is administrative building, building and third is place of rituals also like great bath. So, they construct the city which was divided in two parts. They construct the city which was divided in two parts. The raised portion was called citadel. which was residential place of elite class there was administrative building administrative building and place of rituals place of rituals. Citadel was fortified, fortified. It was fortified with bricks or stones. So, there was adequate security measure. Citadel was fortified with bricks and stones. And this is a lower town. Second part was lower town. आवाज बाहर से आ रही है क्या? So this is a lower town. Lower town. So citadel was like north block, south block, PMO, राष्ट्रपति भवन, central vista, and Lower town, Rajendragar. So here we have coaching centers, PGs, Momo shop. So lower town was meant for common people. There was market. There was industrial complex. So lower town the residential place of the common people, market, industrial complex, this is the difference. Remember one thing that we only study cities, but city without village could not survive. Unfortunately, we do not have any information about the village system of the Harpans. So, entire chapter we will study how was the city, what was there in the city, right? But we do not have any information or the source of information to study the village system of the Harappans. <coughs> Obviously, each city was surrounded by the village. There are so many villages, but we do not have any information. So, we have, we are studying the Harappan urbanization, urban cities simply, no village because we do not have any information about the villages. So, town planning. This is a proto-history. What is proto-history? We have archaeological evidence, we have literature, but either literature not deciphered or it all it is deciphered not in tune with the archaeology. So, we have only archaeological source here. 
so town planning was good. fortified and here low town now let's go inside the city when we enter in the city the city was arranged in a grid pattern <coughs> there was grid pattern grid pattern so main road which is very wide like ring road so main road grid pattern means the criss cross all city was arranged on grid pattern and roads cut cut each other at right angle at right angle there may be traffic lights roads cut each other at right angle because they run bullock cart very fast hurricane speed even they must be doing the jelly cut too so they run bullock cart very fast hurricane speed so grid pattern roads cut each other at right angle surprisingly the doors and windows of the house do not open on the main road if there is road then no window no doors on the main road other side of the road maybe because the noise pollution from bullock cart air pollution or maybe to protect the house from the evil eyes of the passer by jisko ghar mein jhankne ka aadat hota hai so this is how they were very smartly building the house so houses was constructed in such a way houses were constructed in such a way that doors and windows do not open on the main road doors and windows do not open on the main road houses was cut in such a way doors and windows do not open on the main road except gujarat is lothal is in gujarat and gujarat is they will take the round and then will come to the road to go to the shop so by the time they will earn some rupees so they said no will open main road seedha scooty leke road par so lothal gujarat except lothal everywhere the doors and windows do not open on the main road houses was constructed by the use of baked bricks by the use of baked bricks baked bricks sun dried bricks and woods these are the three materials they burn the brick the baked bricks sun dried bricks and woods these are the three materials normally used to have to construct the houses so baked brick means that normally use the baked bricks now and sun dried and wood has been wood it was constructed so three important materials for there drainage system was unique achievement of this civilization drainage system was unique achievement of this civilization it's not like delhi the water was flowing on the road they had 
सिविक सेंस ड्रेन्स वॉज कवर्ड विथ स्लैब्स नॉट ओपन ड्रेन लाइक बॉम्बे ड्रेन्स वॉज कवर्ड विथ स्लैब्स दे हैड ए स्मार्ट सिटी ऑलरेडी बिल्ट फाइव थाउजेंड इयर्स बैक सो ड्रेन्स वॉज कवर्ड विथ स्लैब्स and drains was connected to soaking pits soaking pits means the water was flowing the dirty water was flowing and will go drains was connected to drains was connected to soaking pits right so very good civic sense drains was covered with slabs and it was connected to soaking pits but unfortunately when we excavated many harappan cities we found that there are drinking well besides soaking pits so there was contamination of water and they drink the contaminated water and therefore they suffered from lots of water borne diseases right so this is the problem the drawbacks of the harappan's water management system drawbacks of the harappan's water management system water management system was construction of drinking well construction of drinking well besides besides soaking pits construction of drinking well besides soaking pits therefore they suffered from water borne diseases therefore they suffered from water borne diseases so excellent drainage system was known to them so this is the town planning they had excellent town planning look i told you that the jin general the western side is citadel and eastern side is lower town but there are some cities where we have the three tier system without any raised ground on the same level there are three divisions of the cities like like dholabira it is in gujarat dholabira we have three tier division of city without citadel without citadel there are three tier division of the city without citadel so there is no citadel there is no fortified city in dhalabir right lothal it is in also in gujarat so lothal we have a single division of the city with three parts single city is divided in three parts so there are some variations single city was divided in three parts but majority of the sites are having the citadel and lower town and the raised portion is called citadel but there are some exceptions and this is dhola bira lothal where we have a different type of construction fine so first characteristics was town planning second was they know how to write they had a script a script they had a script
It's correct. Means how to write? Almost all the civilizations had a script. Mesopotamians, Egyptians. But the what they were writing, the Mesopotamians and Egyptians, they were writing, we have they had deciphered their script. So we know that what was the idea of Mesopotamians. But Harappans, what they were writing till date were not able to decipher. So many of the things are not known to us. We rely only on the archaeological source, proto-history. So Harappan script is not deciphered, not deciphered. But it was pictographic. Pictographic. So symbols express the meaning. Like you sent emoji like this. So happy. Sad. If you send both kabi khushi kabi gum. <laughs> this is the emoji. Right? And if you say it like this, what is your business? <laughs> this is a way that you yes, pictographic script all that. Like we have 26 alphabets and then you make CAT cat, MAT mat. So Harappans had so many alphabets, but 64 alphabets means 64 symbols are fundamental symbols, which was frequently used. So they had 64 fundamental sign which was frequently used. 64 fundamental sign frequently used. So they put the symbol and Harappans understood that what is meaning of that symbol. They are, have you seen in the three idiots, there was a virus who, write, who wrote from both the pain. So Harappans were also very smart in writing. Once they put pain on the paper, they don't stop until page finish. This type of writing, right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. This is called booster Fedan style. Booster Fedan style. So they start right to left and left to right. You always write right to left, uh, left to right. So left to right, left to right, but they left uh, right to left and thereafter page finish. So in examination time, they save the time. So this is called Booster Fedon style, B-O-U-S-T-E-R, P-H-E-D-O-N, Booster Fedon style, P-H-E-D-O-N, Booster Fedon. So 64 fundamental signs. The biggest evidence of script came from Dhalabira. Biggest evidence of a script came from Dhalabira. So Dhalabira is a very famous place. So like the way in your uh, colony, on the gate of the colony, something big is written, right? Welcome to Karol Bag. And maybe we have found uh, wood, broken woods with lots of symbols, big, big symbols pasted. 
So what they were writing, we are actually not to des not deciphered the script, therefore we can't say exactly. But probably welcome to Dholabira, be aware of dogs, the trespasses not allowed, something would, was written. So biggest evidence of a script we have from Dholabira. We talked about the drainage system. If suppose question comes, which of the following cities had excellent drainage system, then your answer is Mohanjodro. If not Mohanjodro, then Dholabira. So Mohanjodro and Dholabira having the best drainage system. People of Dholabira believe in conservation of water. So we have found reservoir also, huge reservoir, man-made reservoir from Dholabira. Last year there was a question, which of the following cities had, which of the following city had excellent water storage system? The answer was Dholabira. Everybody did the wrong thing except I very first day I told you that you people are very genius. So this is the choice. So Dholabira. Excellent drainage system. Recently Prime Minister had announced a very ambitious project that in each district there should be at least kya tha naam uska us ambitious ka kya naam what was the name of the amrit sarovar amrit sarovar yojana so therefore you should have a reservoir of waters in the district so harpans had already probably prime minister guided them also or <laughs> <laughs> they guide the Prime Minister, only he knows. Sumohan so, Jodhra and Dholapeta. Amrit Sarovar Yojana. Excellent training system. Pictographic. Booster Fedan style. But not deciphered till late. Uh, recently, a boy qualified in the Jharkhand Public Service Commission. He became DSP. So he went in marriage of his travel friend. Since he was unmarried, so he decided to sit in the front during the marriage because he has to learn lots of things. So Panditji constructed some symbols on the ground by using floor mills and the vermilions. And suddenly after looking the symbols, he became very excited that I have seen this symbol somewhere. Then he put on the memory and he found that yes, it is very close to the Indus script. Jada parne ke baad ye problem aata hai. Whenever you study it very harshly, then Sanjay, Gada, Sanjay Dutt also started looking Gandhi. So, symbols. Then he asked the Panditjis, what is the meaning of this symbol? And then he used his contact and next day there was a newspaper publication, Harappan script deciphered. You know that those priests sitting here in government offices and generations got retirement till 1920s to till date. They are not able to decipher their script. They become very angry. We are trying since last hundred years and you went in marriage and deciphered their script. Reject it. So next day again paper published. Not deciphered. So this is the status till date that Harappan script is not the So pictographic.